Today's video cast will show you how to linearize an inverse function using the Logger Pro software program. You'll notice in our data set we've already put in the data for mass, we've also put in the data for acceleration. We'll have acceleration here on the y-axis because the acceleration is determined by the amount of mass the object is. You'll notice that the data actually has sort of a curved shape to it. Because of that it's not linear so we can't use this r equals function which says linear fit. Instead, we'll be using the fx, the function button, which shows the curved fit. And clicking this button, the property box comes up, and we're going to actually move this bar here up and down. You can see here's the linear, here's quadratic that we've had before. We're going to move down to the inverse button. We click the inverse button here, and we hit this try fit. You'll notice that the line of best fit actually goes through pretty much all the data, so this is looking pretty good. We click the OK button, and we can definitely see that the data is going through those lines, so that's good to see. We can get rid of this box. We don't really need that information here. What we will do, though, is we need to linearize an inverse. And how we linearize an inverse is we're going to take the x-axis and we're going to put 1 over the x-axis. It's not x-axis over 1, which would be itself. It's going to be 1 over whatever's on the x-axis. So we're going to have to go up to data, new calculated column, and in this case here we're going to take mass, but it's going to be 1 divided by mass. The short name, we can also put 1 divided by mass in there, it doesn't really matter. Now the units before mass was kilogram, so now it's going to be 1 divided by kilogram. For the equation down below, we're going to put 1 divided by, and then we'll go into the variables column and we'll select mass. We uh, select done here, and we'll notice in our new calculated column, we have the 1 over mass, 1 over kilogram. However, nothing's happened to our graph. So we'll go down here, we'll left click on the mass, and we'll switch that to 1 over mass. And we'll notice that the material, or the information, is here on the left side. So we'll go ahead and auto scale this graph. We now see that our data looks pretty linear, which is great. However, we're missing the origin. So we'll go ahead and punch in the origin. We put 0 and 0, and now this gives us an idea of where our origin is. It's always important to have the origin in our graph to know exactly where it hits the y-axis. So since we have this, we can go ahead and click the Linear Fit button. By clicking the Linear Fit, we can see that it actually goes very close to 0. In fact, our y-intercept is negative 0 0.04097 meters per second squared. That looks pretty good. It's close to 0, and our slope is going to be 50.07 meters slash second squared slash one slash kilogram. One of the things we'll be doing in class is we'll be looking at how to clean this up a little bit and get a much better reading of our slope. This here is how you linearize an inverse function.